Assalamu alaikum wa hello wa my name is Meem Diaz. Uh, welcome back to lesson 11. Um, in this lesson we're going to go through and look at the sun and the moon letters. Haruf, al-shamsiya, wal qamariya So what are the sun and the moon letters? The Arabic alphabet contains 28 letters uh, classified into two separate categories. The first one is 14 of the letters are uh, what we call the sun letters and they're called Al-Huruf, Al-Shamsiya um, and then 14 are called the moon letters which is Al-Huruf, Al-Qamariya okay so this classification is based on the way the letters affect the pronunciation of the definite article Al at the beginning of the words and I showed you a few, a few examples of these in the previous lesson so um, what we'll do is we'll go through each one of these um, and I'll show you what the differences are and how to recognize which ones are the moon letters and which ones are the sun letters. So I'm going to start with the moon letters first and then finish off with the sun letters. So the moon letters, Haruf and Qamariya. So like I said, there was 28 letters and of the 28, 14 are moon letters. So how do you tell which ones are which? So these 14, Alif, Ba, Jim, Ha, Kha, Ain, Ghain, The, Qaf, Kaf, Mim, Ha, Waw, and Ya. Okay, so these are what we call the moon letters. And their characteristics are, so if we look at these um, 14, when Al is followed by a moon letter, the L is written and pronounced. Now when I did the definite and indefinite articles, the definite articles, I showed you with Al, and then the the word and the al was pronounced so what he's saying is when after the after the al when any one of these letters come then the al is written and it's also pronounced so if i give you an example so here we got al plus qamar qamarun so equals so here we've got al is written and it's got the sukun there and but when we pronounce it it'll be al qamaru so it's just like this al qamaru Okay, so the moon. So al qamarun equals al qamarun. Okay, so if we do another example, so al, and then we say bab, which is the door. The door equals al babu. Okay, so here it is written, and it's also uh, pronounced. Okay, so that's the only thing to remember. Whenever you come across any one of these letters after the al then the al, the lam is pronounced okay so if we do some exercises to drip first one is qamarun which is the moon and what i would like you to do is try and read this out before i do it okay so qamarun will become al qamaru okay so al the is pronounced the written and it's also pronounced al qamaru which is Al Kamaru, the moon. Okay. Next one is we did this in the previous lesson. Is Waladun a boy becomes Al Waladu. Okay, the boy. Next one is Hakibatun, which is a bag, becomes Al Hakibatu. Okay, so here the letter after the lam is a moon letter, and same with the previous exercise, uh, previous uh, slide. Sorry, so haqibatun becomes al haqibatu. Okay, next one is bintun, she's a girl. So here the letter ba is part of those fourteen moon letters. Will become al bintu. Okay, the girl. Next one is an office which is Mektabun Mektabun an office becomes Al Mektabu the office next one is a door which is Babun becomes a, a door becomes Al Babu okay Al Babu the door next one 
is milk, which is halibun. Halibun becomes al halibu, the milk. Okay. Next one is an engineer. So this is muhandisun. An engineer becomes al muhandisu. Okay, the engineer. Next one is a teacher, which is mudarrisun. A male teacher becomes al mudarrisu equals the male teacher. Okay, so I hope you've learned that it's, it's fairly straightforward. Just just need to keep a note of these letters that come after the lam and if they're a moon letter then we will pronounce the lam otherwise we we, we, don't, we apply the rule for the sun letters so one more thing to remember is when the the a in the o is not pronounced if it's preceded by another word what does that mean let me just show you so here we've got al baytu okay so what we're saying is if there was another word before it then the alif the a in the al the a uh is not pronounced. So whatever the last letter is of the the previous word will join onto the lam here. So if we here we got the letter wow because wow. So here I will not say wa al baytu. I will say wal baytu. Okay. So the alif is ignored. Okay. So if the word is on its own, then you apply it the rules as it is. So it's al baytu. But if there is a word before then you will apply that rule. So here, like I said, the wow joins onto the lam. So alif becomes silent, so wal baytu. Okay, if I give you another example of this. So here we we're going to talk about the door of the house. Okay, so what we're going to say is, here we've got babul, which is the door. So, and then we've got the alif and the al baytu. So here we will ignore the alif and join the ba onto the lamb so it'll become babul bull bait babul bait okay the door of the house okay don't worry about this we're going to do plenty more exercises as we as we go through the the, the course uh, and you'll find you'll just you'll, you'll just pick this up and every time we go through the examples like i said it, it, you'll just get it okay so the rule to remember when we join on two words okay so that was the moon letters let's look at the sun letters now so here we last before we covered the moon letters now look at the sun letters so the one thing to remember is um i'll, I'll go through this in a minute here so these are the sun letters so ta, the del del ro z Sin, Sheen, Sod, Dod, Do, Do, Lam, Noon. Okay, so these are the sun letters. Now, how would you remember? How would you remember these? Okay, let me show you. So, these letters are pronounced, each one of these letters are pronounced with the tongue uh, touching the teeth or the front uh, upper part of the mouth. So you'll find whenever you say the letter ta, your tongue is touching the inside upper um, um, area of the, the mouth or the or the teeth at the top. Ta. If you try this, tha, del, you'll feel the tongue touching the top. Del, ra, ze, sin, shin, sod, dot. So some way it touches either the teeth or the upper upper area of the, the mouth. Okay, ta, za, la, lam, and noon. So this is where you will see. So whenever you read something, if you're not sure, if you when just keep an, uh, an eye on how where your tongue touches, and if you feel it touches the top, then it is a sun letter. Okay. So these letters are pronounced with the tongue touching the teeth or front part of the mouth. And when l is followed by a sun letter, it is assimilated into. It means it becomes the same as the sun letter. Okay, so when L is followed by a sun letter, the L is written, but it is not pronounced. Okay, so if we'll do, don't worry, I'll do some examples. So the first one is if we do L, and then we do the word here, Noor. 
So here noon is part of one of the sun letters. So what will happen is the alif, the lam is written, but it will when we pronounce it, it will not be read. So here you can see the sukun is gone. So we would then then join the alif onto the noon and it will become an noor. And one more thing, if you remember from the Shadda uh, lesson, um, where I told you whenever you see a Shadda, it will be uh, double. The sound is doubled. So here it becomes a Noor. So An, An, Noor, An, Noor. Okay. Another example, Al plus Sabah. So here, what do you think it will be? As Sabah, As Sabah. So here the Lam becomes silent. And the alif joins straight onto the sword and us sabah as sabah. Okay, so the moon letters the lamb is pronounced, the sun letters the lamb is silent, and the sound that comes the, the letter that comes after the lamb the sound is doubled. Okay, so as sabah and stressed out with because the shadda is there. Okay, so if we do some exercises, the first one is it's the sun which is Shamsun Hassan would become Ashamsu Ash so here the Sheen the Lam again is silent Ashamsu Rajulun which is a man becomes again Ar Rajulu Ar Rajulu the man next one is Tajun which is a crown, becomes a taju, the crown. Then we have t shai, becomes a shai. Okay, so the sheen is doubled. Next one, we have a doctor, which is tabibun. A doctor becomes Tabibu, okay, the doctor. And then we have a student, which is Talibun. A student becomes a Talibu, okay, the student. One more. So here we've got morning. Oh, good morning. Morning is what we're looking for. Is Sabah, which is morning would become as sabah okay and notice when I when I say the letter after the lam I stress it as sabah okay so the morning and then finally we've got um, wife zawjatun which is a wife will become as zawjatu Okay, one thing you'll notice here is I've actually added in a, a different color here at the end. And what that indicates is that word is feminine. Okay, which nicely leads me on to my next uh, lesson, which will be gender. We'll go through and look at masculine and feminine nouns, and I'll explain what the differences are and how to identify which ones are masculine and which ones are feminine. So once again, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you know someone who can benefit from this, then please uh, share the video with them. And Jazakal Khair, inshallah, see you in the le next lesson. Fiyamanillah. Assalamu alaikum.